Hello, Mr. Butler. I'm Dr. James Campbell. Hello, Dr. Campbell. I've received the reports from your endoscopy and the pathologist. I would like to discuss your case further. Certainly, Doctor. I'm hoping that you can provide me with more information about my type of cancer. I was told that when cancer spreads to the liver, it usually means a poor outcome. How long do you think I have, Doctor? My gastroenterologist didn't even refer me to a surgeon to have my tumor removed. Is this because it has spread to my liver? Well, let me start off by addressing your questions, and then I will certainly go over the treatment options for you. It, it may have been explained to you that the only treatment that would have given you a chance to be cured of this disease would have been a radical surgical procedure, which would have removed part of your stomach and surrounding lymph nodes. However, given the fact that your disease has spread to the liver, surgery is no longer an option. For this reason, the prognosis is unfortunately poor. The average survival for patients with a stage four cancer, such as yours, is less than one year. Is there anything that we can do to help me live longer, doctor? I'm still very active. I mean, if it wasn't for some indigestion and feeling a bit tired, I actually feel okay. I still exercise, even though not as much as I used to. I continue to work and, and still go out pretty much like I did before. My daughter's getting married later this year. I'm going to be there for her. Well, we can certainly discuss treatments that may prolong your life and also improve your symptoms. Again, the goal of the therapy here is not to cure the disease, but rather what is termed as a palliative care. Using drugs or chemotherapy is our only treatment option because radiation will not help you at this stage. I've also heard that chemotherapy can make you very sick. Is it really worth going through such treatment, which, as you said, is not going to cure me of my illness? I guess I'm wondering the added time I may end up with. Will it be quality time? Well, these are certainly good questions and factors that you will have to weigh. In my opinion, it is worth going through chemotherapy. By experience and based on published evidence, patients such as yourself, who we consider as having good performance status, tend to do better and obtain more benefit from chemotherapy. I would like to recommend that we place you on a combination of docetaxel, cisplatin, and 5-fluorouracil. This combination was tested in a phase three trial that has been presented twice in international meetings. And with its extensive use, we have a fair idea of what type of side effects it can cause and how to handle those side effects. If I agree to go on this treatment, what sort of side effects can I expect? The major side effects related to this treatment will be a reduction in your white blood cell count. This will reduce your body's infection fighting ability this could put you at risk of an infection that could end up being severe or life-threatening. For this reason, we do take extra measures to prevent or reduce the intensity of the side effect. There are other side effects that I can go over with you as well. Can any of the side effects kill me? Yes, any chemotherapy combination can kill you. However, the chances of that happening are below 10%. And in this situation, it's actually estimated around 5 to 6%. I also would not expect this in people with good performance status and good organ function, such as yourself. Since infection is a major concern, we would start your treatment off with an additional drug that will reduce how long your white blood cells stay low and therefore better maintain their infection-fighting capabilities. Hello, doctor. I can't wait to see what the scan of my liver showed. I'm happy to inform you that your CT scan showed a decrease in size of some lesions and indeed the disappearance of others. Does this mean that I can stop the treatment now? This is great news, right? Well, re remember, this is still a palliative therapy. In a case such as yours, it is customary to continue with some additional cycles and not stop treatment now. In the clinical studies, treatment has always been continued beyond the initial discovery of improvement in the disease. Also, I'd like to know, how are you tolerating the treatment? Well, honestly, doctor, I'm okay with it. But over the past two weeks, I have noticed that I get more and more tired. And this is starting to interfere with my daily routine. Will this get worse? 
Yes, some side effects certainly can get worse. Unfortunately, short of correcting your anemia, there is not much we can do to improve the tiredness.